So I kind of wanted to show everybody what I did here. I've got a Panasonic HCW850 video recorder. And one of the things I love about it is the night vision mode, which basically uses infrared. And not a lot of cameras nowadays use infrared. And most of them are pretty darn expensive. Um, I've been very happy with this one. Uh, one of the things I wanted to note is I didn't think it was as bright as I would like it to be, especially in long hallways. So what I did is I purchased this Polaroid external infrared. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Some of you may recognize this. I know there's been a lot of uh, information on this on the web. Uh, I got this one off of Amazon. If you look down here, it just attaches onto a normal uh, flash adapter. And that's where I attached it on here. Now one thing you might notice for those of you who have seen this before is that there seems to be a box on the back and there's a little switch on the side. Let me explain what I did. So if I flip this over, you can see I purchased one of these electronic box. This box I got at microcenter.com and this box basically what it does is it's uh, just a little uh, utility box that people use to do special projects and stuff like that. I think they actually call it a project box. Now what I did is I've got a piece of electrical tape here so I can just pull the back off is I wired in my own batteries so you can replace the batteries since the original Polaroid comes with a, a rechargeable battery inside and if you use three double A's in series you get about the voltage that you need for the infrared light. Now you also notice over here I would put a rheostat in there now why did I do that? I put a rheostat in there because in some instances the IR external light is way too bright and I wanted a way to attenuate that and basically decrease or increase the lightness depending on the situation that I'm at. And as far as uh, creating this situation, this box here, um, I can point you to another video which I'll show you below where they show you how to do that. Now the box itself is something that I came up with because it fit right inside and I was able to get the rheostat at uh, Radio Shack and I will describe that a little bit further in my um, below uh, commentary. But I just kind of wanted to show you what this does and how this looks in night. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've switched it into infrared mode or night mode. And right now you're seeing basically the lighting from the camera itself. And I'll just pan around the room here. You can see the TV is very bright. But you can see that other parts are okay. And I'll zoom in a little bit here. Slower you zoom in night mode, the better uh, you get in focus. So I'll slow down here. So it's not too bad. But it's definitely, you can tell, a little bit focused. And you're going to see, I'm going to go through some... Uh, curtains we have here. It's going to get very bright as you get close. Open this up into the kitchen. As you can see, the table lights up. But I'm going to come back to the wall here because I've got about 20, 20 to 30 feet from one side to another. Actually, it's closer to 30, 35 feet. And if you notice, the other side of the room you can't even see with the night mode that's on here. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to switch on the light. There's the external IR. And something I want, to, want you to notice is now you can kind of see the other end of the kitchen. However, what's important to note is I have that rheostat turned all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gradually turn that up. And I'm turning the rheostat up, which is basically decreasing the resistance, allowing more current to flow from the batteries to the IR. And hopefully you can start to see that the other end of the room is already starting to come into more brightness. And I'm still increasing it more. And I'm gonna put it full blast. So there you go, I'm gonna back out. Now take a look at how much light this fills the room. And as you can see, it's very bright. I mean, that's, that's nearly 40 feet across, 35, 40 feet across. And I can zoom in on just about anything over there. I can zoom in on the cabinet. Zoom back out. Now let me show you something. I'm going to walk over here. 
and this is pitch black. I have all the lights off in the uh, kitchen. But I wanted to show you something. When you come over here, you can see I've got my little boy's tray here. It's very, very bright. You know, when you're really close to something, then it's reflected off it. But if you attenuate this down and turn this light down, all of a sudden it comes more into focus and you don't have that glaring brightness. Same with stuff here. Now I've got that external all the way down to the lowest uh, attenuation. If I turn it up, you start getting some glare because it gets so bright. Now you can notice the camera does adjust. So you can see the camera auto adjusting its brightness, but it can't do it all, all the time, especially if you're in a very small enclosed space. So again, this is turned all the way down. Now I'm going to turn it up. Now here I'm going to turn this all the way down and you can see what it looks like all the way down. And then I'm going to shut the external one off completely. So there you go. And that looks pretty good because I'm right on top of this. But again, you can't see anything at the other end of my kitchen. But if you're out there ghost hunting or whatever, you want to have as far of a distance as you can possibly get. So I'm going to turn it back on. And you're going to see that it turns on a little bit. But if I attenuate this sucker, you can see all the way down that hallway. And if you had this as a still camera, you could see all the way into the other room. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show everybody. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you get an idea. I always like giving people ideas for things that they can do at home. Having external batteries where I use double A's instead of the rechargeable battery. You could put rechargeable double A's that have a really high milliamp hour rating. You could probably easily get four hours or more on this external light if you needed it to be all the way up. But again, if you attenuate it down, you should be able to get even more hours because you're not using all the current out of the batteries at once. So uh, hopefully this helps you. I'll talk to you later.